everyone, it's Sherry Carroll here for SimonSaysStamp.com with a card idea using the What's Brewing stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. This is an adorable stamp set. It has a large coffee cup, it even has the steam and plenty of messages to go along with it, plus a couple little smiley faces and fun icons. I'm going to be stamping my coffee cup on some wood grain paper and this is by my mind's eye and I'll be using the Simon Says Stamp Smoke Ink. I already have my coffee cup on my block and I'll start inking this up with the Smoke Ink. I want a really light color ink so you can't really see the edges and I felt that Smoke Color Ink matched the wood grain that I've chosen the best. So now that I have that inked up I'm going to go ahead and put my stamp right onto that cardstock and I've aligned it where I have this kind of fun knot grain in the wood and it sh it'll show up on the cup. So there it is, really nice and light and next I'll just cut this out using my scissors. Okay, I have my coffee cup cut out and I have a brown pencil here and I'm just going to color in the area that is the coffee. And I like to use the pencil because I can get a nice fine tip on when I sharpen this and I can get in right in close to those little areas in the sides. So I'll go ahead and color this in and then in a second I'll be adding some shading with some gray pencils. So next I have a gray pencil that I felt kind of matched the paper the best and I'll start adding some shading to try to make the cup and the handle look like they're rounded a little bit. So where it's recessed um, on the side, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of shading in there. And when you're using your pencils, what I like to keep around is a white eraser so I can kind of fade it out. So a lot of the times I'll just go ahead and start adding my coloring in first and then I'll go back in with my eraser and just kind of fade it out and make it look a little more realistic. So I have a Pentel eraser here. There are several different types but it is just a barrel tip and it feeds the eraser down in. And sorry you can't really see what I'm doing. All you see is down the barrel of that pencil. But that'll lighten it up a little bit and kind of fade out that color. And once I'm happy with that I can now go on to the edges of the coffee cup and make them look like it's more of a cylinder or a rounded edge. The next thing I want to do is to use some of the Simon Says Stamp Slate ink and I have the talk bubble here and I'm going to go ahead and ink this up really really well. It's a fully solid stamp so you want to go over with your ink several times and just make sure you have really good coverage. I always like to try to check the bubbles to make sure they're even before I go and stamp but once I'm ready I can go ahead and stamp that onto some scrap white Nina cardstock and I'll cut this out in a few minutes with my scissors. Next I'm going to use the slate ink again and I'll be stamping onto my fog uh, paper panel here and I have the Friendship Has Its Perk stamp and I kind of have my pieces set on my paper so I know where I want to put my image here or my greeting here so that's well inked and I've centered it onto my fog cardstock and that's how that will look. I'm back to working on my talk bubble. I've allowed that ink to dry really well and here I'm using my anti-static pouch to make sure that it's uh, really dry and none of the embossing powder will stick to it. So I am going to stamp my message, You're the Best, and I'm using Versamark ink. And I'll be doing the white embossing, so I want to make sure I get this really well inked. If you know me, I'm just an over-inker. I had a little bit of powder on there and I blew that off, so make sure your stamp is upright and go ahead and align that onto the top bubble and give that a good press. And Versamark ink is a little sticky so you may have to release your paper by just grabbing that little edge with a thumbnail or fingernail. So now I have the Simon's Stamp white embossing powder and I'm going to go ahead and spoon this over the top and then tap off the excess from the back. I'll give it a quick inspection, make sure that I don't have any embossing powder where I don't want it. And once I'm ready, I can go ahead and heat set this. And I like to use my Milwaukee heat tool because it gets really hot. So far, everything on my card has been gray, and so now I'm adding a punch of color with some burnt orange ink and burnt orange cardstock. And I've cut out a bookmark from the bookmark it die set and I have a little tiny coffee cup here and I'm just stamping a tone on tone by using the same color cardstock and the same color ink. This does lighten up over time but it will give me a really nice tone on tone look. 
I am ready to start some assembly and I've cut out this little frame from the Simon Says Stamp frames die and when this cuts you get a center piece and also an outer little frame piece and so I've put some of my tape runner adhesive on the back and now I'm just going to go ahead and stick that down and once I'm done sticking that down if there's any excess adhesive I can go ahead and use my eraser and clean that off so the next thing I'll do is just grab my scissors and cut off the excess of that top bookmark piece. And I'm sorry for going off camera with that. I'm using my scissors right now. So now that I have that trimmed up, I can go ahead and use some foam tape and start putting everything together. Here's another look at my finished card. I've added a little twine bow and glossy accents to the coffee area. I hope I've given you some inspiration for the What's Brewing stamp set from Simon Says Stamp, and thanks for watching.